Hey everyone, Nick Does 58 here, and uh, I'm sorry if the microphone isn't stabilized. I'm not great at it, and I'm not good at it. I'm terrible at it. I tried screwing around some stuff, but anyways, as you can see here, we're doing another Yandere Simulator thing. I'm sure everyone is so glad to be seeing this. Um, today we're going to be playing Burning Love. The Yandere Simulator dating game, where you date the fire demon. I don't know if I pressed the right thing. I probably didn't press the right thing. Oh my god, I am stupid. Um. Oh. Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, then. Um, I need to see if the- check if this is actually running. Like, showing up on the thing. Is this showing up? It is. Okay, we're good. We're good. Because with the Kudere Sim thing, it didn't show up. So, <clears throat> this is Burning Love, a Yandere Simulator Dating VN. Um, I'm just a- I'm going in this blind, mostly. Um, mostly blind, I'm, I say, because I watched a little bit of, um, Cub Scouts video before this. Um, oh, uh, screw it, Ryuko. Because I just looked over, and the first thing that happened to be there was my Kill Kill manga. So, enter. Phew, it's almost five o'clock. At least this time. At least this is the last room I have to check. Huh? What's this? A knife? What's a knife doing in here? And what is it doing on the floor? Um. I don't know. I know if you do this, Ayano or Yandere-chan will come back and pick, find it and be like, ah, just where I left it. But if I do this, then I get mm, to date a flaming demon. Eh, screw it, we'll hear Yandere-chan. <laughs> right where I left it. I'll take that. <laughs> Alright, so... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, okay, so I can... Ooh, okay. Return. Enter. So I can save it any time. Great. Okay, oh! <laughs> Let's press the same thing twice. I should probably take it and bring it to a teacher or something. Hmm. I mean, it looks so fancy. Isn't this supposed to be in that creepy skull? It's kind of a shame. It looks really cool. Huh? huh? Th there's blood on the other side of it. What the? It, it even looks fresh. Uh, stick it in the skull. Yeah. I, I mean, no one will see the blood if it's in the skull, right? I mean, I guess. There. Huh? Ah! Where am I? God, what? Huh? Monsters? A mortal? Here? How curious. Huh? Whoa. Who is he? <laughs> oh, I get it. Who is she? Who is he? Why is his head on fire? Why have you come here, I wonder? Do you have a fascination with the occult? Or have you come here seeking power? Why? Get the sexy on right away. Oh, are you? What a pity. I am not interested in you at all. 
Humans are mundane, boring creatures. Tell me, why should I consider you to be worthy of my time? No, you don't. I don't think you understand. I, I don't want this. What? What do you mean? Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna disrespect him. I think I'm gonna be very polite with this. What? What's your tongue, mortal? Oh. Do you have any idea who you are speaking to? Not really. You confounding little! I should incinerate you where you stand! I am the flame demon, and you will show me proper respect. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me make it up to you with a date. And why exactly would I desire to do such a thing? I'm sorry, I just really want to keep going. Yes, I'm willing to override my save data, what are you kidding me? Because you'll have a great time. I have no reason to believe your words. I'll make a deal with you. If you go on a date with me and you don't have any fun, I'll give you my soul. Foolish human, you do not grasp the consequences of your proposal. Do you truly wish you wager your eternal soul? Um, yeah. I can't get over this feeling inside. I need to date this demon. Please, oh please, say yes. Is this human serious? So be it, foolish mortal. I agree to your terms. There is no backing out of this bargain now. I will go on a <clears throat> date with you. And if I do not enjoy myself, I will consume your soul. I'm liking this so far. Deal! Yes! He said yes! This is gonna be so much fun! So, um... Where are we going? Good question. Mm, the park sounds fun. Diner... I don't know. And a beach? I've already seen what the diner looks like. Park? I don't know. Um, well, let's go to the beach. Very well. We will now commence our date. Do not disappoint me, human. The other two demons are probably looking at us like, what the f <sighs> This location oh, is it's so pleasant. beautiful. If this was in full screen, I would totally... I would totally keep this as a desktop background. <laughs> Get rid of my beautiful Canadian view. Over here, as you can all see, in favor of date with a flame demon. It's a nice place. Perfect for a date. <laughs> Do not think you have won, human. I am not yet enjoying myself. Proceed with your attempts to woo me. Do your worst. Okie dokie then. Alright, flame, flame demon, you asked for it. I've already seen this one. I want to know where demons come from. You truly are an ignorant human. To think that you made it this far without knowing such a thing. I mean, if you think about it, demons could technically be born. Like it just dies. <laughs> At least I could learn from a cool demon like you. I mean... Yes, you are given a great privilege to learn from a demon like me. is a human that has discarded their humanity in exchange for great power. A very specific set of circumstances are required in order for a human to become a demon. First, a human must somehow commune with a demon. The human must express their desire to forsake humanity and embrace demonhood. If the demon decides that the human is worthy, the demon will offer a deal. 
This is beautiful. I'm loving this. The human must perform a great sacrifice. After the sacrifice has been performed, the demon will grant the human the power that they desire. Oh, so, okay. So they're just trying to give an explanation to how the demon hands are working yonder. Very, very clever. It is extremely uncommon for a demon to judge a human to be worthy of demonhood. Very clever. Good news, everyone. I have found out how the thing works. When a human becomes a demon, they are reborn into a more appropriate form. This form was the most appropriate one for me, considering the circumstances of my ascension to demonhood. Ooh, typos. He said in, but it says of. It's a nice look on you. But what? That's a ridiculous statement. It's true, though. I got him a little flustered. Good. Let's keep at it. The year I first drew breath was 1431. I was born into a wealthy family. I enjoyed a life of privilege and luxury. Mm. Local peasants, unsatisfied with their lot in life, grew envious of my family's wealth. Sorry. Eventually, their envy turned to rage. This is a sad story, and it's got that spooky music. One day, a mob of peasants marched into my family's manor, intent on stealing our valuables. My mother and father attempted to resist, but they were no match for dozens of armed peasants. The peasants beat my parents savagely. When my mother afterwards, oh, damn it. peasants raided the manor, taking everything of value. When they were finished, they burned the manor to the ground. So that's what he meant by more fitting, the most fitting form. I hid during the peasants' assault, and so I escaped without injury. However, I witnessed my parents beaten and burned alive. on the peasants was so strong that I performed a demonic ritual to commune with a demon. The demon took an interest in me. Mm. We struck a deal, and I performed a sacrifice. The demon granted me the power to control fire. I was reborn into the form that you see before you. I took my vengeance. The peasants experienced everything that they subjected my parents to. And more. Dang, man. I wish I could be that cool. I had become a being that was no longer welcome in the human world. And so, once my vengeance was complete, I left the human world for the demon realm. Ah, okay. What do you do all day in the demon realm? How many other demons are in the demon realm? Why did I only see three demons when I entered the demon realm? There are very few activities available within the demon realm. From the demon realm, one can gaze upon any person or location in the human world. It is quite amusing. It is much like your human invention, the television. Ah, so we are little actors. Holy shit, that's really meta for what I'm doing right now. Why would I do that? I don't know, I mean, it'd be more fun than just watching them, don't you think? I've never been interested in humans like that. I am only interested in their souls. 
their souls. A demon's power and lifespan are determined by the number of human souls that demon has consumed. When my power wanes, I strike a bargain with a human in order to acquire the soul, so that I may continue living. Ah, so it's like food, where you strike a bargain with the McDonald's cashier so that you can continue to eat your diabetes for blood clogging demonic hell spawn with your beverage made of many, many diabetic ridden disease things so that you can in turn live for one more day or one less day in terms of McDonald's. Some demons prefer to make their lives more interesting by gambling their souls amongst one another. Gambling with a foolish or gullible demon is an excellent way to quickly acquire a few human souls. Interesting. Some demons are agreeable, and fraternizing with them can be enjoyable. However, most demons do not make good company. Yeah, like the dickless guy. I never bothered to count the exact number, but I know that there are over 100 of us. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I don't, I don't know what exactly that's in the tale. Are they as amazing as you? Where is this coming from? I'm just curious. You're so interesting and stuff. I doubt any other demon is like you. <laughs> he's so adorable when he's flustered. Why did I only see three demons when I entered the demon room? There were actually dozens of other demons present, but only three chose to make themselves visible to you. Who are the other two demons I saw you with? What are the backstories of the other two demons? So, are you enjoying yourself yet? Are you asking for their names? A demon's name is a closely guarded secret. To know a demon's human birth name is to have power over that demon. I will not give you such power. When a human achieves demonhood, they are granted a title that reflects their nature. I am the Flame Demon. The two demons who accompany me when you enter the demon realm are known as the Pain Demon and the Lust Demon. Oh, so that would mean that my demon name would be the Fat Demon. Or the Diabetes Demon. <laughs> oh man, I'm terrible to myself. What are the backstories? Pain Demon seems to be capable of doing nothing but muttering about the last few hours of his life as a human. If you want to know his backstory, I suggest you simply speak to him. Hmm, yeah. Because he's like the only functional one. Everyone thought when when that update came out, everyone thought it was um lust demon as they call her. That was the functional one, but no, it was pain demon. Arms removed, body contorted. Not the actual voice I can remember she was. I feel like they're doing pretty good. Lost demon never talks about herself. And even if she did, I would not be inclined to tell you more about her. Because I am not one to gossip about others. Of course. And how do you know this? Neither of them seem to be as interesting as you. I just know. Call it human instinct. <laughs> I hear well. Speaking to a human in this manner, being asked questions, providing answers, talking about myself, I. It's not disagreeable. Oh, I'm winning! But to make no mistake, you are not wooing me. I am not wooed. You will have to woo harder than that. Everyone cheer at the screen. That's how you woo, right? I was... <laughs> I'm just... I'm gonna save. Really quick. I'm gonna return. And I'm trying to screen cap that. Yep, I did it. Okay, <laughs> let's continue on.
Oh, I think that I've done a good amount of wooing. Now to finish it off. I will not be moved by such remarks. If you are attempting to make me swoon, you are failing miserably. I... Oh. It is a jest. You are referencing the fact that I have a flame for a face. <laughs> oh god, the game knows me with puns. Holy shit. That's exactly what I would say though. Like, uh, pretty hot. You, you get it, Flame Demon? You get it, Flame Demon? Pretty hot? Your jests are of poor quality, human. I remain thoroughly unwound. Your flame punts do not affect me! <laughs> they certainly are. I'm being serious. I've never felt this way about anyone before. You're special to me. I want to be with you, Flame Demon. My feelings for you are so great. They burn flame hotter than any flame you can con conjure. We won. I don't know how you've done it, human, but somehow, within the span of a single day, you've made me feel fond of you. Have I been seduced? Bewitched? Dare I say it? Wooed? Holy shit, we won already! Oh, man. Perfect. I want to belong to you, and I want you to belong to me. I want you to stay by my side for all eternity. I want to be held in your embrace until the end of time. I w what are we going to do now? I keep doing it. Lover. <laughs> Make out super hard. Oh man. Um. Kill everyone out of my school with fire. Conquer the demon realm. Make out sir. I like the way you think. Oh. Yes. Yay! Okay. That was unbearably strange and amazing. But I loved it. Um. I'm sorry if this audio is very crappy. Um, oh, damn. 23 minutes recording. Well, anyways, that is all for this time. Um, I might not be able to upload like very high quality stuff for a while because I need to get stuff done with my editor and my 3DS is being a shit. And so I can't do much with that. Um, I know I promised that over the weekend I would try to do some Mario 3D World um, or 3D Land things, and that plan sort of fell through with some unforeseen consequences of some previous actions that I'm not going to get into it right at the moment, but let's just say... Also, my sister was playing the Wii U the whole day, and I didn't get a single turn on it. Which sucked, but, you know, you gotta make do what you make do. But, anyways, this has been Burning Love, a Yandere Simulator dating sim, and, uh, as always, Falcon PUNCH that subscribe button and great ether that like button. And I will see you all next time. Mixazz58, signing out.